I didn't, I didn't want to do anything with that. I didn't want to get involved in anything. I have a very good friend who is uh, Chief Ashofu. We are together, you know, trying to uh, evade the war, evade participation in the war as much as possible. You know, we drew, we drew classical examples from living with the brigades, living in a brigade, and seeing troops move to the front and seeing them being sent back for burial. You know, that was an eye opener for us. So none of us wanted to participate other than going around with the troops, you know, or living within their circle, so, well, just for food, you know. As things were getting drier, territories were being lost, conscription became the order of the day. Wherever, wherever you go to, you may never come back. It got to that point where I had to keep my only junior brother with me anywhere I was because I was afraid of his being conscripted. At times, some of us, not me, would dress up like women just to pass to where soldiers are, you know, not to be conscripted. So it continued on and on and on. Eventually, I was conscripted. I was conscripted because at a point I got fed up and I wanted to go, even if it meant walking into the federal troops. So I started my journey from Atane to Oko, and moving to, towards Oko Bele, the Biafran troops arrested me and asked me where I was going to. I told them I wanted to go back to Nigeria. I was punished for a very long time. Kept looking at this, they would, they would, they would flog me, tie me up, leave me in the cell. In the morning they would bring me out to face the sun. I had to go through that for three days until a friend of ours, a friend, a classmate of mine, came back from the front and saw me there, saw me in that condition. He was the one who ordered for my release. You know, he pleaded with them. He was a senior officer. He pleaded with them that that was me, that I was a straight character and I would say my mind at any time that I was actually going, that, that I meant no harm. I was not going to bring truth, that I was just going because I was sick of this, the system. So he was the one that brought me out of, after that uh, uh, situation. I had no other place to go or that and to join them. That was how I got myself involved in the military.